Hey, Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakodash. Uh, double honesty, the apostles of El and elders, a great millstone that rule well through the scriptures, peace and hopeful elect. <laughs> yeah, this is like a, a you know a spiritual rant. You know, I just left the workplace, and uh, you know, I end up telling this guy I work with about the truth, and you know how that go. But uh, you know, he says something, and I was like. Oh, okay, I might, you know, I might tell him about the truth, you know, et cetera. And then I'm like, you know what? I ain't telling him unless he bring it up, unless he asks. I'm a, you know, if, if I'm a, I'm a, that's the spirit. If he asks, then that's the spirit I'm going to tell him, you know? And so, uh, because I tried to tell him and then, you know, the spirit didn't allow, you know, some, you know, come up, people come up or whatever, you know, whatever the case. And, uh. You know, he ain't asked, and then later on, he kind of adds, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, well, whatever. So, I just told him simply, because what he said was, he said, yeah, man, and, you know, I want to go to church, but, you know, such and such, this, that, and the third. We was just, you know, having a group conversation, and I heard that, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, hmm. So, long story short, I told him, like, yeah, man, the reason why you want to go to church is because you were Israelite basically you know and the spirit that's within you yearns for the truth of the scriptures and church is your first answer to 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 think to turn to but you 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 see the, the you see the bullshit and you see the, the hypocrisy and so you reject you reject that with but the bible is in there so you end up rejecting that too you know what you know so i saw but i told him in all actuality the truth and all the answers that you seek, everything, the answers to everything, to life is in the scriptures, etc. This, that, and the third. And then this is what he going to say. Well, you know, uh, well, the thing is, the Bible, you know, is written by man and, and man is flawed. And and that is a, that's a, that's a tired argument, man. I was just sitting there driving home thinking about it getting pissed. And that's a, that's a bullshit fucking argument, man. The, the, and man is far and then niggas say that and just think they just so fucking deep. Oh yeah, oh, the, the man is flawed. Well, first, first of all, everything written by fucking man, dummy. Okay, everything is written by fucking. Oh, well, uh, and then this is what he gonna say. Now I'm not mad at him. It's just the spirit that people come in with that saying. The Bible is written by man, and man is flawed. Then this is what he say. He say, if the if the, if the Most High wrote the Bible himself, and then like nigga, when the Lord was 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 fixing to reveal Himself, and I told him this. I said, well, you know, the 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 the, the children that Moses led in uh, out of Egypt came with that same um, argument to a certain degree. They wanted the uh, the Most High to be revealed to them, and when the Lord was uh, getting ready to, when the Lord got the thundering from heaven. And they said the Lord was too much. They said, no, nah, Moses, you talk to us. So, nigga, you don't want the Lord to. And then one of the elders, this GMS Indiana, one of the elders of GMS Indiana uh, told me one time that, uh, you know, they, they never really had uh, spiritual dreams like that when they first came to the truth. And they asked the Lord, like, Lord, you know, send me a dream, such and such. Said the Lord sent them a dream. The Lord granted them they wish. And then he was like, you know, like, whoa, like, damn. He didn't know what he was asking for, really. So you don't know what you asking for. Talking about some, oh, well, if the Lord himself, like, no, nigga. I, and like I said, I'm not mad at that guy, but that scripture, um, and I, I'm not driving now, so I can get a couple of scriptures. The scripture says, the Lord humbleth himself to even look on the, see, that's the spirit. There it go. Your Psalm 113 is six. It says, I'm going to read five. It says, who is like unto Yahweh? Our power who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. And I did, and I used this uh, scripture in the, the last lesson I did. The Lord so far and above and beyond anything we can think of. It, he, he humbled himself to even look upon creation, man. Talking about, and, and, and first of all, the Bible just wasn't written by man. OK, just just a, just just a, the, your average Joe walking down the street, eating, eating rabbit, eating raccoon, eating pork, eating hamburgers and shit, man. The script, the, 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 hold on. 
this is uh Salakia. Or is it second Peter? This is second Peter. 1 and 21, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men. First of all, these weren't your average Joes. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Jeremiah. These was holy men. These was men that walked with the Lord, meaning what? They followed his ways, okay? They maintained his ways before the Lord in, in his sight, man. They weren't just regular men. They was holy men. Holy a, a saint, hagios, sacred, physically pure, morally blameless, or religious, ceremonially, ceremonially consecrated. Morally blameless and true morals come from the scriptures. So they walked according to the scriptures. They walked with the Lord. These weren't no regular people, okay? It said they spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, all right? It was, the, 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 the Bible was, in, it was inspired from the Most High. The scripture says the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. Okay? God damn it. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. The guy who made Matt, uh, The Simpsons, right? Matt Gronin. All right? He ain't finna just, God damn it, uh, pop up on, on the goddamn Simpsons, a human. On the, you, you know? He created it. He far above all of that. If you if you create something, you draw a picture, you're not just going to pop up on the picture you drew. Not saying that the Lord can't do whatever he want to do, but that's just how far above and 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 beyond and how far over he is from us, man. And that's that's a that's a that argument is so whack, man. All right? And and what I told him was basically prophecy negate everything. You know, and then for the spirit had it where the people around us had to hear what was being said too, because I did. I wanted to talk to him privately, and uh, cause when I, I I addressed him, and then people kind of came around, and then I'm like, okay, I ain't gonna say nothing else. If if he bring it back up to me, and we get a chance to talk privately, I'm just that's gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that as the spirit and his meant. So he ain't bring it up for a while, and then he kind of brought it back up later on. I thought I thought it slipped his mind, but he brought it back up. He like, hey man, you know, etc. Because I said, I'm hey, when you get a chance, I want to talk to you privately. I ain't really, you know, I'm tell you some, you know. And he brought it back up, and then we was we, we got to talking for a slight second, and people got to forming around. And then I'm like, nah. And so then we kind of got in. It, it happened again. We get to talking, and we talking, and we talking so much. I can't cut it off now. People come around like one or two two people. And they hearing it, and uh, I just kept going. Hey, hey, they heard it or whatever, you know. But it was still, you know, it was what it was. And that, 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 that. Well, you know, it's written by man, and and so nigga, one plus one don't equal two then. But anyway, like I said, prophecy, man. Because if you uh, if you say something gonna happen before it happened, then your credibility is proven. All right, and the Most High is uh. Uh, uh, see, this is Psalms. Uh, this is Psalms twelve and six. It said, "The words of Yahweh are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times." Let's look up tried. Tazarap, to smelt, refine, test, to smelt, refine, to test, to test and prove true. So the words of the Bible, the words of the Lord is proven to be true because the prophecies is coming to pass. So with that, Lord willing, this was the edifying list to the hopefully let go our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakudash Shalom.